Once upon a time, there was a farmer who has a very big farm. And in her farm, she's got some chickens and some rabbits. One evening, a storm came through and blew away some of her chickens and rabbits. The next morning, she wanted to check to see how many rabbits and chickens she has left. But behind the fence, all she could see were some heads and some legs. She counted the heads: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were all together sixteen heads. And she counted the legs: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were all together fifty-two legs. So the farmer pondered. How many chickens and rabbits are there behind the fence? You can pause the video here to see if you could solve this problem by yourself. Are you ready? Let's look at how we can solve this problem with our algebra. How many rabbits and chickens are there behind the fence? Well, we know that there are altogether sixteen heads. And there are altogether fifty-two legs. We also know that both chickens and rabbits only have one head. I don't think any of you have seen a three-headed chicken before, have you? So that means that altogether there are sixteen animals. We also know that rabbits have four legs, and chickens have two legs. So with these three pieces of information, we could start solving this problem without algebra. If you're looking for a solution with algebra, please check out our other video. Let's get started to solve this problem using a table. We we'll draw a table with three columns: a column for chicken, a column for rabbit, and a column for legs. Let's first assume that all sixteen animals are chickens. That means that there are no rabbits, and the total number of legs is sixteen times two, because chicken have two legs, which is thirty-two legs. But we need fifty-two legs, so that means we need twenty more legs. How are we going to get these twenty more legs? Well. If you go back to the rabbits and the chickens, a chicken has two legs, a rabbit has four legs. So for every chicken that you change into a rabbit, you're going to get two extra legs, because each rabbit has two more legs than a chicken. And so, to get twenty extra legs, we will need to change ten chickens into rabbits. So let's try that. We have sixteen chickens, and we change ten of those into rabbits. That means we have six chickens, and we now have ten rabbits. And the number of legs is six times two equals twelve for the chicken. Ten times four equals forty for the rabbits, and forty plus twelve equals fifty-two legs altogether, which is exactly what we want. The farmer is happy to know there are in fact six chickens and ten rabbits behind that fence. So now do you know how to solve this chicken and rabbit problem. Good, because that evening, an other storm hit, and the next morning, the farmer could only count ten heads and thirty-four legs. How many rabbits and chicken? Does the farmer have left? Leave your answer to the comment section, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm William, and this is Beyond Infinity. We'll see you in the next video.